Due to the war crisis in Spain, some people are trying to leave the country. A couple, Mia and Nico, are also leaving due to their fear for their lives and the safety of their unborn child. The agent saves them from the troops and takes them to the supplier. The man asks for more money as the risk is higher, but Nico says we have nothing left. The man demands his wedding ring, Mia doesn't want to remove it but Nico has no other choice. The agent leaves them in a container with other people. A woman listening to the news and Nico asks her to turn it off. Mia uncovers her belly to take a deep breath. She was hiding her belly as the army is killing pregnant women. Their firstborn daughter, Uma, who the military took away from them is presumed dead. Mia blames herself for Uma's disappearance and carries the guilt with her. Nico's plan is for them to escape to Ireland by being transported on a cargo ship. Their truck stops at a checkpoint where many more people are added. In the chaos, they send Nico to the other truck. She calls Nico who tells her to stay calm and says I'll meet you at the port. Nico asks her not to trust anyone and to take care of herself but Mia cries. On the way, Mia sees outside that the city has been destroyed and the army is oppressing pregnant women and their children. As part of a genocidal attempt at reducing Spain's population by killing children, the elderly, and pregnant women. The truck stops and a woman tells others to go back. Mia sees the truck stop at the army checkpoint and the colonel asks the driver about the goods. He tells the driver that he wants to open the truck and see the goods, but the driver says that the goods written on the sheet are inside. Colonel becomes suspicious and opens the container but doesn't find anyone except the boxes. He notices something and asks his men to fire, the man shoots and he feels the presence. Colonel asks them to step outside saying they will not harm them. Mia climbs over the box and as the girl steps outside, they shoot all of them including a little girl. Mia has a hard time controlling herself and luckily she survives. After this, she texts Nico about the situation and the truck reaches the port. All the containers are loaded on the ship and she changes her SIM card and tries Nico's number again but his number is switched off. The ship sets out for Ireland and seeing this, she sits down quietly. He finds a bag containing a drill machine, a water bottle, a phone, and a light stick. She falls asleep and at night, due to the storm the container shakes and she hits the walls. The crew starts pulling people out of the containers and Mia calls out to them but no one hears her. The strong waves cause the container to fall into the sea and she is knocked unconscious. The next day, she wakes up and is shocked to see water inside. She looks outside through the holes but there's nothing except water and some containers. Her phone also breaks, seeing which she gets more nervous, then she takes out the phone from the bag, but it is locked, she notices the water is coming inside from the holes. To close the holes, she opens the boxes and finds plastic boxes, clothes, LED TV, and headphones inside them. After checking the boxes, she covers the holes with the tape and looks at her photo diary. She hears screams from the outside and sees Nico's container sinking. She tries to call him but the phone is locked and the container sinks. She feared facing this horrific scene and cried due to her pregnancy. At night, she dials Nico's number again and again because she thinks he might be dead. Emotionally damaged by the accident, she thinks of suicide but stops after the baby's movement. She hears whale sounds and lies down scared. The box fell and the water filled the container, she awakens screamingly but it's just a dream. Seeing the tape coming off the holes, she opens the box hanging above, but it also contains empty boxes. She sees the rubber on the box's lid and then fixes the holes with the rubber. She takes out the water with the pipe and sets her place to sleep. She sets days and limits notes inside so she can be aware of the water flow. She calls SOS but fails, pins her family photos, and finds some supplies. She gets a call from Nico who tells her the driver abandoned us outside the city. Mia tells him that she is trapped in a container that fell in the sea and now she is alone. She doesn't know how long she will stay alive before the water rises and the container sinks. Nico asks I'll find you but you've to stay alive for their baby. Mia says Uma died due to her and now she is going to lose the unborn but Nico asks her to hang out until he finds her. She eats a little sandwich, pee in a box and due to the heat, his condition starts to deteriorate. She feels delivery pain and tells the baby to stop coming out. The storm comes at night and she cries in pain while the water level increases. Her mobile rings but the phone falls into the water. When the pain becomes unbearable, she gives birth in the water with screaming helplessness. She is a baby girl, seeing her alive gives her comfort and love. The next day, she tries to feed her but the baby cries and she finds the food is about to end the mobile is dead. She starts cutting the roof and asks the baby to stop crying. The baby doesn't stop and she goes to feed her in this time, the baby drinks her milk. She eats her last meal and then starts cutting the roof but the driller stops working. She changes the SIM card but the phone still doesn't work and starts throwing things in anger. She starts cutting the roof with a knife and her hands get injured. 
At night she feels hungry but has nothing to eat, and she resorts to eating her placenta. Sharks attack the container and she hits the walls to run them away to relax her daughter. While cutting the iron, the penknife also breaks, seeing that the last hope of getting out is also lost. She loses focus due to the dehydration and sucks the raindrops from the roof. Mia sees a vision of her daughter Uma who tells her that the way you left me to die, you will leave my sister too. Mia tells her to sit down but she disappears then she sees Nico next who tells her to be brave. The next morning it rains again and she fills Tupperware boxes with rainwater. She puts the belt through in the roof's hole and pulls it tight, making a way out. The way opens and she climbs on top with her daughter but there's is nothing except the water all around. She names her daughter Noah and as soon as she throws her diaper into the water, many fish come to the surface. She attempts to catch a fish but fails and seeing a plane, goes inside to break the mirror. On the way out, her leg gets injured, but she tries to call for help from the plane through the reflection of the glass and fails. Her wound is quite deep and she goes back in and desperately stitches her leg with cable. She makes a net with the wires and the next day, manages to catch a fish and eat it. She pulls out the water and stores plenty of fish and then makes notes for help, puts them in the boxes, and throws them in the water. In the same way day after day goes by hoping for help and she tells Noah about everyone after seeing her family photos. Seeing the increasing water level, she becomes more scared. Nico calls her to inform her that he escaped from the ship and was injured. Nico asks her to survive alone as he's unable to help her and she tells him about their daughter. The time passes and the water reaches the maximum limit. Mia makes a makeshift raft with Tupperware boxes and seeing a seagull gives her hope. The pressure of the water causes the holes to open, and Mia goes to pick up her belongings. She swims and the cargo bends at one side which causes the raft to swim and her legs trap with belts. She manages to free herself and the cargo completely sinks. She swims out to see Noah nowhere and screams in panic. A humpback whale confronts her first and then goes near Noah's raft. The whale makes a sound and touches the raft which makes Noah cry. Listening to her voice, Mia follows the sound and manages to find her. She gets to Noah and calms her while the whale leaves without harming them. The day appears, and Mia throws fish in the water so maybe the birds crowed can attract any ship. She talks to Noah saying they'll be out soon and after getting out, they'll tell their story to the others. Mia says you saved me from dying when I was scared and then I did all I could to save you. Now Mia starts losing courage as she still doesn't see any ship or boat and only hopes for a miracle. Mia sees a seagull and throws fish and many seagulls appear. There is a family fishing on a boat and the girl notices a raft surrounded by seagulls. The girl asks her father to take the boat there. Upon reaching, the girl pulls the raft up and they are surprised to see Noah in it. They notice a rope tied to it and the girl pulls it to see Mia. They pull her out but she is unconscious and just looks dead. The girl breathes into her mouth and presses her breast, but Mia does not move. The girl's father asks her to try again and after the girl tries again and again, Mia regains consciousness. She was afraid by the trauma but the girl tells her your daughter is alive which gives her some relief. The man reports it to the shore and asks them to get a medical team ready. Mia and Noah are rescued and brought to the shores of Ireland. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing videos.